Well, we are here in Passau, getting ready to go to Salzburg. And it looks like we have a clear day. And it's true, the Autobahn does not have a speed limit. You can go as fast as you want. However, our bus, Stefan, will go a nice, easy 100 kilometers. That's about 60 miles an hour. while on the Autobahn. And you'll see many of the German fast cars zipping past us on the left lane, the speeding lane. And um, you'll recognize a few of those cars, right? We know of Audi, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Porsche, BMW. BMW standing for Bavarian Motor Works. But so many of these German fast cars are what have built our economy here in Bavaria. So the auto industry is number one in, in grossing uh, income. The economy is based number one on the auto industry. Number two <laughs> is machinery. For example, uh, companies like Bosch and Siemens would be part of the machinery as well as ZF, which is a very large company here in Passau. We have three factories for ZF. And then the third grossing for our economy here in Bavaria is agriculture, farming. And you will see much of it during our drive through the Austria. countryside. So we are now entering Austria. As you see on the left hand side is this billboard with a few very interesting Austrian or Bavarian words. And one of the words on that billboard I will also um, teach you because it's a very useful word in Lower Germany and Upper Austria since they share the same dialect, the Bavarian dialect. Servus, spelled S-E-R-V-U-S. It's from the Latin word servitud, which also means I am here to serve you or I'm at your service. So it's a very common greeting that you will hear Bavarians in this area use as a hello and a goodbye, actually. It can be used for both. So usually you'll hear them say servos. Servos, goats, mountain goats from the Alps, as you can see now, the Alps peeking out from the background, quite beautiful, majestic. So all these traditional, all organic, but they don't want to spend high prices on it, Germans. But Austrians will spend a little bit more economically on good quality food rather than cars. Very interesting, the different cultures. This giant dinosaur egg is because here to the right is an egg distributor. <laughs> when I learned that it was an egg distributor, I was so curious to know what that But this means that we are just on the outskirts of the city. We just saw a sign. It says we're about uh, 28 kilometers from just the outskirts of Salzburg. beautiful steeple church right ahead with the Alps just give it that really nice touch and because of that um, I did make a very needed phone call and I invited a friend on the bus with us to uh, give us a nice introduction to our beautiful soul's birthday started and circled it by the pedestrian walking bridge or the love lock bridge and underneath the star i wrote 340 right 
Yes. So 340 is our meeting time Here and the meeting point. Archbishop's Garden originally. The Sound of Music, the Ray Me, was filmed here up to the left. Fortress. Oh boy, they're coming from the Korea. Fortress from the 11th century. Rebuilt in the 15th century. Mozart's family lived in eight rooms in that building. Christine Doppler House. The original old town is in this area. Watch to the December, you know, you can go for the best view. This is where we love to go there. And you get small things, you know, to eat or just to people go for a beer, you know. And on that road, you know, you would go up there. And Monk's house, originally. Not anymore. Maria danced around that fountain and said she had confidence. Nicholas. 
courtyard for the church. And these are the areas. Where Sound of Music was filmed. In there. Mm -hmm. The last row of the homes are actually built into the stone of the bluff here. And so is part of the church. St. Stephen's in Salzburg. It's the main dome. The apse. Okay, here we are at Mozart Platz. And that is a statue of Mozart. And we're just around the corner from the church. And near the Salzburg Museum. The Platz is where two of the streets who run parallel to the river terminate. 